Hey there Vet Pals! This is Miguel Salvador M. Convocar from 2DVMB. This is the second part where all about proteins and amino acids will be discussed. Let's start! Proteins are highly complex substances that is present in all living organisms. Proteins are of great nutritional value and are directly involved in the chemical processes essential for life. It has many critical roles in the body. They do most of the work in cells that are required for the structure, function, and regulation of the body's tissues and organs. Proteins are also made up of several amino acids and it is necessary to know the composition of any protein-rich ingredient in terms of its constituent amino acids and its requirements. Most materials used as ingredient in poultry feeds contain some protein. Grains generally contain 8-9% of crude protein but cannot meet the merged total protein requirement. It is therefore necessary to include other ingredients which contribute to higher levels of protein. Oil cakes are a good source of vegetable protein, while dried fish and meat meal supply animal protein. The amount of protein required by broilers vary according to age and level of performance. There is a high demand for protein at the early stages of development because of the breed's physiology. Moreover, the energy level of duration also decides the protein requirement. The higher the energy level, the greater the percentage of protein required. Now, what are amino acids? Amino acids are compounds that combine to form proteins. Naturally found in our bodies, they are often referred to as the building blocks of life. Amino acids are needed for the production of enzymes as well as some hormones and neurotransmitters. They are also involved in numerous metabolic pathways within cells throughout the body. There are four types of amino acids. Essential amino acids, non-essential amino acids, critical amino acids, and limiting amino acids. Essential amino acids are those that cannot be naturally produced by the body and must come from the food the organism eats. Non-essential amino acids, however, are those that are produced naturally by the body. Critical amino acids are not optional amino acids as a lack of sufficient bioavailability has adverse health effects. And lastly, limiting amino acids are amino acids present in the lowest quantity in a food protein. Proteins and the types of amino acids were discussed in this video. I hope that you have learned a lot today. This is Miguel, your Vetpal speaker. Thanks for watching.